Roy Keane, again, um, there's not too many better than him that, that, that's been in the Premiership. Um, again, hugely entertaining when you watch him on TV. I um, love watching his sort of what he has to say in the, in the games that he covers. Um, very, very upfront and, and to the point, uh, which is something that you sort of miss sometimes because, you know, some people will sit the fence, but definitely not with Roy, but fantastic player. Um, you know, I, I, I was fortunate enough to play a few games with, with Roy before I left the club and great person to have around the dressing room. Very funny, very infectious laugh he had. And, you know, as I say, magnificent player. Um, yeah, we, we hear that a lot. Uh, Scalzi. Oh, you hear that a lot? Yeah, of course. We hear that a lot about yeah. Keane, yeah. They, 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 obviously, a lot of players that we speak to, the ex-players, they say he's... He's really funny, really funny in the dressing room, really well liked. He is. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. I think people just get this people get this, you know, image of players sometimes on, on you know, in their head and just stick to that when when they don't obviously know him. And I still you know, wouldn't cross him. Yeah. No, without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> you, honestly, yeah, you used to hate being in his team and training because if you give the ball away, but you used to be hate being against him because you know, he trained exactly like he played and would get stuck in, you know, so you were in a no-win situation. Uh, but that, I mean, that's not to say that Roy wasn't a, a fantastic captain. And, I'd, I, you know, I think I think if Roy Keane was asked that question, you know, he, he would probably even say how good Brian Robson was as a captain. Um, you know, and it, I'm sure Roy took, you know, part of his role in becoming captain. I, he probably looked at stuff that Brian Robson did to make himself a better captain. Very similar players, aren't they? Very, very similar mentality. Yes, you know, b both born winners. Um, you know, and if you, if you look at the early days of Brian Robson, you know, arriving in the box, he was always the one to get on the end of things. And you know, Roy was just a great box to box midfielder. Um, you know, energy to burn. Um, and you know, would run through a brick wall. The same, the same as what Brian Robson was. Um, and obviously, you know, they were able. You know, as they came. As they got that little bit older, to be sort of that little, little bit of security, you know, holding in midfield to 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 release the ball to the boys that could go and do this sort of business, and that's what made them such great players that they could adapt to a new role rather than just, you know, doing the box to box. Yeah, we heard um, Paul Parker said he picked Roy Keane because if you put Roy Keane in goal, he would have tried to have been better than Schmeichel just because that was his mentality. <laughs> yeah. You know, Roy. You know his standards were 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 up there, and it's a fantastic way to be. Um, you know that you keep your standards up there, and he never ever let them slip. That's the way he was, and that's what made him a fantastic player. 